Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I want to talk about fountain pen ink and more to the point inks I would repurchase. Now I have a lot of ink. I have more ink than I can ever use in my life and I should probably never have to buy another bottle but not all inks last and uh, they either go you know off or they dehydrate and you can rehydrate them and stuff like that but like not everything is perfect but also I work through ink. I am a pen user. I write a lot. Uh, I'm filling a lot of pens. I'm working through, I generally kind of work through if it's like a standard converter or cartridge, kind of like a pen every two to three days. Um, part of my job is memorizing music and I write out the words over and over and over again. And that burns through a lot of ink and I get to enjoy a lot of ink. Um, but what I want to talk about today is inks I would repurchase. So when the bottles run out, what are five inks, in particular five and one highly commended, that I could not go without? Um, there are lots of inks I love. Diamine Terracotta, love it. Um, you know, Graphon Faber-Castell Moss Green. Some of those Ackermann inks and, uh, you know, a whole range of Diamines and Robert Osters and things that I just absolutely adore. Um, but when they run out, I will have enjoyed using them and I've got so much other ink and so many different colours that like, I probably won't replace every ink I've ever had if I run out of bottle. But these ones in particular, and there's a number of these, this is just a selection, these are kind of like five that I really, really would need. Uh, these are five that I would absolutely repurchase. So let's start with the highly commended. It is a dye mine ink, it is this. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to show up on this screen, but I will show a close up. It is... Diamine 1864 Blue Black. Now, I love Blue Black. I have a lot of Blue Black inks and I really enjoy them. I find it to be a colour range that suits my aesthetic and my eye and what I like to use. 1864 Blue Black is probably my favourite. I think it's one of the most perfect Blue Blacks. I think it's got like enough black in it for it to be nice and dark, but it's clearly got that little hint of blue. Uh, so yeah, Diamine 1864 Blue Black is a highly commended. Uh, if I couldn't get it for whatever reason, I would be really disappointed, um, but there are a lot of other Blue Blacks. Number five is an ink I use a lot because I know how this ink writes. And so if I'm using a pen and it's not feeling great, or I'm reviewing a pen and I wanna know exactly how it's gonna work, this is an ink I will use, and that is this. This is Waterman Serenity Blue. Great ink. Sort of really clean properties, uh, really reliable, beautiful blue color. Uh, just an ink that is super easy to use, super reliable, affordable, available kind of everywhere, safe for most pens, uh, and just a really good writer. So in terms of having an ink that I know how it works, how it's gonna, how pens will work with it, for reviewing, for my own purposes, if I'm not sure about a pen I have, Waterman Serenity Blue. The next two inks are inks I have because I just plain love the color. One of them is this. This is Robert Oster Tranquility. Now, Robert Oster is an Australian ink maker. If you're not familiar, how? But get on it. Great inks, huge range of colors, beautiful greens and blues, and these colors just like exploding everywhere. Um, so I use a lot of Tranquility for writing out lyrics and things. I currently have it here in my uh, Toosby Diamond 580, uh, which it works so beautifully in. It's got a lovely color range to it. Um, it's just a lovely, lovely ink. And I, I'm currently now, I think, on my, I think it's now my third bottle, and I've got the fourth one waiting for me. So I'm going through roughly a bottle of that kind of every year. Uh, and a lot of that is because I use it to write out lyrics all the time. And there's a few pens I have it in, like the Twisby Diamond 580, which are quite wet and also have, you know, large ink capacity and stuff like that. So it doesn't take that long, really, to work through a bottle of that ink when you're using it like that. I've also used it a lot for art. And, uh, you know, I find it nice because it moves around a lot like a watercolour. It's definitely not a permanent water-resistant ink. So that's why I use it in that way as well. Next on my list of colours I just really enjoy, and this is one just because it's just beautiful, is... Diamine Syrah, um, one of my favorite, first favorite inks. It's beautiful, lovely on the page. It's great uh, as an alternative to a red. If you're using things like headline, like underlining or headers on pages and you need something just to sort of stand out, for me, a color like this is just a really, really great option. It's got lots of lovely tone to it. It's a, a warm color. A lot of these are not outgoing, sort of like flashy colors. They're sort of everyday colors. And there's a reason for that. And it's because like, I'm a user, I'm a pen user. I use these as tools for everyday work, not for like 
not just for Instagram. I have some stuff that I use just for Instagram, but like these are inks and pens that I, you know, that I use for kind of everyday use. And if we're talking about everyday use, one thing you have to have is a black that you enjoy. And what if you're going to have a black, which is not the most flashy color, why not make it one that also has some water resistance, you know, so that if you need something to be absolutely watertight, if you're signing things, that kind of stuff, this is a really great ink for that. It is platinum carbon black. This ink, I put it under tests, I run it through water and stuff, it is astounding. And I think if you you know watch the review, you see I put it under some tests that actually show just, just how good this ink is. It's rich, it's dark, it's black, uh, writes beautifully. You do have to sort of maintain your pens a little bit more with it, you can't just like leave it in there. Uh, but I think if you are diligent about pen hygiene and that kind of stuff, platinum carbon black is a great option. And then lastly, we come to what is probably my everyday writing ink more than any, and that is this. Diamine Oxford Blue. Diamine Oxford Blue, beautiful rich dark blue color, bit of sheen occasionally, lovely wet ink, writes really well, use it in just about any pen. I, as I said, I love blue blacks, and this isn't a blue black, this is a dark blue, this is navy blue. Um, it's rich dark blue. It's like almost like a navy royal blue almost kind of thing. It's weird It's got this like lovely well, no, I wouldn't say tearly undertones but some like nice interesting colors underneath and I think that's what makes this for me my everyday writing ink. It's beautiful. It looks great on the page um, It's not flashy. It's easily read great reading contrast on the page all of that kind of stuff and uh, you know, it's just beautiful and a color that I really really enjoy so that would be the ink that if I if, this, if they ever stop making Oxford Blue, I don't know what I'm going to do. There's a lot of inks that are sort of similar, but none that tick all the boxes quite like this one. So you would have noticed that, you know, there's no things like Sailor or, you know, Akaman and things in this list. And a lot of the reason for that is the fact that they're just harder to get. And they change their range so often and they're sometimes in and out of stock and all of that kind of stuff. And they're quite expensive. The three dye minings I have on this list, particularly uh, 1864 Blue Black, uh, Syrah, and Oxford Blue, are all inks that are widely available. You can get these at most, you know, in most countries from a huge range of retailers for reasonable prices. Like I can get an 80 ml bottle of Oxford Blue for twenty dollars in Australia uh, from one of the retailers that I uh, go to. So that makes it a hugely affordable ink. Um, and for me, that's part of it. Like, as I said, as a user, I'm looking for things that I can use without having to like safeguard. You know, I don't want to go, oh, that's a, that's a really expensive ink. I can't use that this week. No, no, no. I want to be able to use these inks every day, all day. Uh, and at that price point, you kind of can, you can justify it. And that for me is why a lot of these inks are kind of like where I turn to a lot. So that was five inks and one highly commended that I would repurchase the moment I start to run out of that ink. You know, when I'm onto the last couple of fills, I'm ordering another bottle because I never want to have them not on my desk. In fact, all of those inks sit on my desk, not even in the ink cupboard, they sit on my desk. That's how often I use them. Um, it's just part of, you know, my pen practice is using those inks. So thank you for watching. I hope you found it interesting. Um, I'd love to know what inks that you would repurchase uh, as soon as you run out and why. Um, everyone's got like their favorites and these are mine. So I'd love to hear yours. So please like and subscribe, hit the notifications button, get in touch if there's anything you'd like to, you know, if you've got questions or if you'd like to support the channel, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your inks, whatever they may be, and I'll talk to you soon.